Gridiron Central is sponsored by Georgia Northwestern Technical College, Riverside Automotive Group. It's week four, and we have the Gridiron Central scoreboard show coming to you live. A lot of interesting games this week. Uh, up until this point, a lot of the Rome area teams not doing so well. Changes a little bit tonight. We're going to start running down the scores. LFO 24, a Daresville 17, a big region win for LFO. The Warriors are still undefeated. This win will actually set up a very interesting game. We'll talk about this a little bit later on. R. Murchie 45, Murray County 7. The R. Murchie Indians get their first win of the season. It is also a region win. win. Remember, Murray County is now in Region 7 AA, so R. Murchie starts the region slate 1 0, 1 3 overall, but good win for the Indians. Calhoun, well, the mighty, mighty Yellow Jackets keep rolling, keep stinging. 50 to 13 over Dade County. Not much of a surprise here. Calhoun has not lost a region game in over a decade. Has won something like 41 regular season games. Yellow Jackets awfully tough to beat. Ridgeland 42, Cedar Town 21. The Panthers all over the Bulldogs in this one. I think a lot of people might be a little surprised by the score. Cedar Town looked awfully good. Very good rushing attack. Ridgeland showed that. You've got to have more than just a good rushing attack to beat a good football team. The Panthers, remember, their only loss was to Calhoun, and that was a close one. Ridgeland's looking awfully good in that region. Model 27, Chattooga 7. Model gets its second win of the season. Again, this is a Region 7 AA contest. They move to 2-2 two and two on the season. Chattooga is now 0-4 oh for, oh for the season. Darlington, 34, King Ridge, 17. The Tigers move to 2-2 two and two overall in the season. This will set up a very interesting game next week between them and Tryon. I'll get you Tryon score in just a minute. Gordon Lee, 55. Southwest Atlanta Christian, 8. No problems there for Gordon Lee. Coahola Creek, 26. Sonoraville, 14. Sonoraville eked out a win over Model last week. Unfortunately, can't do it again this week against Coahola Creek. Chapel Hill, 23. Rock Mart 22, Rock Mart in a completely new region this year. They start the season with, they start the region slate 0 and 1 with a one point loss to Chapel Hill. Pickens 45, Heritage 0. Heritage is having an awfully rough year this year. They have not won yet, and a lot of their games have not been close. Hopefully, the Generals can start putting some things together later in the season. River Ridge 46, Lafayette 14. Much like the Generals, the Ramblers not having a good opening year. Uh, we'll see how the Ramblers go later on. Tryon 10, Mount Perrin 0. The Bulldogs get a big win against a single Class A opponent. Uh, Bulldogs still undefeated 3-0. and I mentioned earlier that Darlington's moved to 2-2. Two and two. Darlington travels to play Tryon next week in a game that I think is going to be very, very interesting to watch. Unity Christian 20, Community Christian 13. You're going to see highlights from this game in just a few minutes. Uh, Lions had to hang on to win this one, but hang on they did and moved 2-2 two and two on the season. One last game. Gordon Central 27, Ringgold 26. The Warriors are now 4-0 and on the season. This is their first region win, and this sets up a very interesting undefeated matchup next week. Gordon Central, undefeated, travels to play LFO, who is also undefeated. They're both region foes this year. The winner of that game will have a very good chance to possibly go after the region title, possibly make the playoffs. That is all the scores we have. We're going to cut to commercial break, and when we come back, we're going to show you some highlights. Stick around. Begin your future at Georgia Northwestern Technical College. We offer degrees, diplomas, and certificates in over 200 programs of study. Choose a career in business, health, industrial, or public service. With the flexibility of day, evening, and online classes at any of our five campus locations, getting your education at GNTC has never been more convenient. There are many financial aid options available, including student loans. Apply now. Georgia Northwestern Technical College. Your college, your town, your future. 
Welcome back to the show. We'd always like to thank our sponsors, Georgia Northwestern Technical College and Riverside Automotive Group, for helping us bring the sixth year version, well, six, the sixth year of Gridiron Central, the only Emmy nominated high school football show in the state of Georgia from the last four years. Moving on, we were, I was actually myself, I was up at Ben Brady Field at Shorter this evening to, to watch Unity. Christian take on Community Christian. The Lions looking to win their second game of the season. Here are the highlights. I mean, you know, I think we, we made it closer than it should have been, but that's kind of been our thing. We, you know, we, we play good ball for three quarters and we have letdowns. And really, you look at the last eight, nine minutes of that football game, we just, we were scrambling and it didn't look like the team that played before. And, you know, that's the thing I was just telling the kids, they got to grow up. We gotta, we gotta, we've got sophomores, you know, out there all over the place and juniors, guys with no playing experience. And, you know, it's time to put it together. And Markel's really developing. He made a couple big catches for us tonight, and uh, he is he's developing as a player. I mean, you know, he's a basketball player. Um, but, I mean, one of the things, he's becoming a weapon for us because he's six foot three. you know. He can go up and catch balls. And, uh, you know, every time he catches a ball, he grows in confidence. One of the things we look at is, I mean, you look at us last year, we did it all year long. When we get it inside, you know, we, we kind of pride ourselves fourth and two, fourth and one. We're going to, you know, we practice ball control. And as you can see, I didn't really want to punt the ball. So, uh, you know, because we had one block. But we just, you know, went out there and popped it straight ahead. And, you know, you know I mean, that's, that's kind of what we've done. And the kids take pride in that. And we work it, getting on the ball fast. And, you know, we saw some things with the sneak, the sneak tonight where they weren't lining up correctly. So, you know, we took advantage of that.
Well, we got a bye week next week. Um, you know, we're looking to get hot. You know, we we start. You know, we've had one region game, which was against Loganville. We lost. Um, you know, I really think this team. If you know, we, we got a you know non-league game in two weeks, and uh, you know, I told the kids it's time to grow up. And uh, you know, if we can get hot, I, I could see this team getting hot at the end of the year. Um, we have some tools. We just we got to put it together. Welcome back to the show. You just saw Unity Christian's big 20 to 13 win over Community Christian. A couple takeaways from the game. Unity's awfully young. I mean, that's what Joe Curtis, you just heard Joe Curtis say that. And, and talking a little bit to Coach Curtis after the game, is like he says, look, you know, they're at a point, Unity had a 20 to 7 lead and had the ball, really had a chance to put the game away. Couple of penalties cost them a first down. Next thing you know, Community Christian is able to go down and score, make a game of it. Unity, however, the defense came up big. Lots of really big defensive plays, especially over the last five minutes of the game, to make sure the Unity got the win. They have a week off next week, then they're going to be on the road. The key thing I see about Unity, and Joe Curtis even mentioned it too. They have a chance to grow up. They have a chance to move from this win, get another win, maybe start putting some W's together, see if they can make a late run, much like they did last year. There's a lot of talent on that team. Yes, it's young, but it's also the ICSGA. You don't have to grow up quite as fast in the ICSGA as you do in the GHSA. Not, not a knock there. It's just reality. We'll see how it handles. I think Uni will have a good run. Two more games we covered. We don't have highlights in time for the show, but you'll be able to go to Prep Central online to see those. I'll talk about both of those right now. The big Cedartown Ridgeland game, Cedartown winning, excuse me, Ridgeland winning that 42 to 21. You know, I think this might surprise a lot of people because I think they forget about Ridgeland. You know, Cedartown started out really good. 3-0, and but the one problem I said about Cedartown all along is it seemed to me that the offense was too one-dimensional and the defense wasn't tested yet. Tonight, unfortunately, the defense, I'm not going to say it was porous, but they allowed 42 points. It's a lot of points to give up, and if you're primarily a rushing attack, it's very hard to score that many points to keep up with that. Nothing wrong, nothing here. This is a crossover game. Cedartown, if they take care of business, they have a chance to possibly play Ridgeland again or someone else for the region title on November 9th. Watch out, Cedartown. They'll regroup. They'll be good. Also, everybody, take you know, watch for Ridgeland. Mark Mariakis does a phenomenal job as their coach. They have a very good team. Von Bell, one of the top-rated players in the entire nation, plays for them. Ridgeland could be a team to watch for come playoff time in AAA, like, excuse me, in 4A later on. The other game from tonight that we covered it was a very close game. Gordon Central 27, Ringgold 26. The Warriors got on top early. Ringgold rallied late, couldn't cut it all the way back, but this game takes Gordon Central to 4 and 0. The Warriors off to one of the best starts they've had in years. Remember, Gordon Central got to the to the Class AA playoffs last year. They carry over a lot from that. Their offense is quite good. Obviously, their defense was good enough to hold Ringgold to only 26. And of course, this is another tough loss for the Tigers. They had a real close loss to Dalton early in the season. A close loss here. It's a region loss for Ringgold, a region win for Gordon Central. The Warriors are looking to possibly get back to the playoffs, this time the AAA playoffs this season. Of course, you can see video highlights of all three of these games at PrepCentralOnline.com. Also, our Facebook page, crazily enough, also called PrepCentralOnline.com. And, of course, we want you to also go to PrepCentralOnline.com to read articles from all the games, photo slideshows, the videos we mentioned before, and come back on Wednesday, and you'll get to see us preview and prognosticate with my tag team partner, Matt Davis, who obviously is not here tonight. Um, we'll be talking about all the games coming up for next week as we'll have a lot of key action going into week five. For Kevin Myrick, Austin Wiggins, I'm Jim Allred saying we'll see you on Wednesday for the preview show. 
Begin your future at Georgia Northwestern Technical College. We offer degrees, diplomas, and certificates in over 200 programs of study. Choose a career in business, health, industrial, or public service. With the flexibility of day, evening, and online classes at any of our five campus locations, getting your education at GNTC has never been more convenient. There are many financial aid options available, including student loans. Apply now. Georgia Northwestern Technical College. Your college, your town, your future.